what we have here is this is the fillet off of the fish. I've got it split lengthwise. And we're looking at the inside of the fish. This is the top of the fish. This is the tail of the fish. This is where the head would be up here. This is the bottom half of the fish. This is the rib cage section where there's no bones in this part right here. And from back here to here we have bones. We have bones pretty much from here to here. Uh, in, inside the meat. Now the meat, as you can see, is beautiful and white and, and has nice, beautiful texture. It's really, really good eating, but it still has those bones in it. So we're going to talk about some different ways to, to cut these things up from here. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, though, is get rid of the red meat. Now I showed you, we have that red meat that runs along the, the lateral line of the fish, and I'll be taking that off along with the skin, and then we'll take the fish and uh, cut it up so that you can uh, see how we make this thing work for the grill and for the fryer. Now, always got to start with the red meat facing towards you when, you're going, when you uh, cut the red meat and skin off. And I cut myself a little tab back here. When I do that, I'm going to cut through some bones, and that's all right. But that's the only time that you do want to cut through bones. We'll cut the, the bones off in the back part here a little bit later. Uh, so I'm going to cut my little tab, and now I'm bending my knife around that red meat. So you can see... Uh, I'm cutting the, the skins, the, the meat, so that the white meat's here, the red meat's there. Can you see that? And, uh, all right. Now I'm going to cut along here, removing the skin and the, and the red meat at one time, all, the whole length of the fish, and I'm bending this knife as I go. Going real slow now so you can see it, but you can do this much faster than this. And there we go. You see how that's, all that red meat's attached here. The white meat's here. Again, this is where the rib cage meat was. This is the skin. The red meat still attached to the skin. And there's a little bit there. I'll just cut that off. And we're good to go. There's a little bit of red meat back here by the tail. That's not enough to bother anything. And plus, that's going to come off anyway. I'll show you why later. So don't worry about that. Uh, and we're going to just take this piece and discard it. Now, we're looking at the bottom half of the fish. The head is here, the rib cage is here, and the tail's here, and this section from here up is boneless. Then the bones are in the meat at about this angle, going back through the meat. From here to here, they're shaped like a Y. Back here, they're not. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just take this, this belly meat here. It's not really belly meat. It's, it's uh, rib cage meat. I'm, I should say, the first thing I'm going to do is, is uh, remove the rib cage meat. Pull it off, cutting, cutting here, and put it aside because it's already boneless. Now, I'm going to uh, take and, and I'm going to make the flying carp wings with the bottom half. And which, what we're going to do with that? You're going to cut these in long strips, and just getting your, you put your knife in, poke it in. Always cutting toward the middle of the fish. You never want to start cutting this way. You won't, it won't work. You've got to start from the outside of the fish or the bottom of the fish, cutting up towards the lateral line. Again, it's the bottom half, so you cut there like that, and just pull that off. Again, I'm going to lay these in position so you can see the kind of how the meat uh, is arranged. Okay, so this is like this. This goes this way. Um, I'm going to cut along here. And get these strips. Like that. Cutting these strips along here like this, getting these long thin strips. And then I get back by the tail. And these when you get back by the tail, the bones are not Y-shaped anymore, so you can just turn it over, putting the inside of the fish up, the, the skin side of the, of the fillet down, put your knife in the middle here, and cut along. Just remove that nice boneless piece of meat right there, and turn it around. Take another boneless piece of meat off of here, and throw, the, throw those bones away. Now, that's what you do if you're going to make a the boneless, the, 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 uh, the strips for the bottom half. Now what we've done here is we've made what I call the flying carp wings and it's these fish strips. This piece is boneless, a couple of pieces that are boneless back by the tail and these longer strips, you can take this, you fry that up and there'll be inside of there, there'll be uh, one or two, three bones 
And when you fry this up, you break it in half after it's cooked, and then you'll see one half will be boneless, and there'll be two or three bones that stick out right here. So you grab those bones, and you lay them on your plate and eat the other half. It's a lot easier than eating chicken wings or something like that, because you don't have to gnaw anything off the bone. You don't have to worry about getting a little bone stuck in your throat. There aren't any little bones. The bones are about three and a half inches long in this fish. So you'll, you'll just, they're really, really easy to pick out. Okay, now I'm, I'm gonna do the top half of the, of the fish, also preparing it for the fryer, for that method of cooking. Now, I'm just, again, I'm cutting along the, the uh, uh, removing the, the red meat, leaving the red meat attached to the skin, bending my knife around it. Again, you can see how I've removed that red meat. The red meat's all here on the, attached to the skin. And you've got this beautiful piece of white meat right here. That's excellent eating, nice white flaky meat. And this is stronger red, red meat. It's just not very good to eat. And I discard that along with the skin. Now, if I'm going to make flying carp wings with the top half, the, the first thing I need to do is pull off this triangular shaped piece of meat right here at the, at the top. And there's some really strange bones in there and you're not going to want to deal with those in your flying carp wings. You may just throw this away. It's a triangular shaped piece so it's pretty obvious when you do fry it so you can tell uh, what piece that is. It's still got good meat on it but it's got some really funky bones in it. So uh, usually I'll either reserve that for myself or, or just discard it. Uh, then I'm going to put that over here so we, know, we can show where it was though later. And then I take, again, you always want to cut from the, the outside, in this case, the top of the fish, down towards the middle. You're looking at the outside of the fish. Uh, this was where the lateral line was. This is the top of the fish. And again, I'm going to take right here and cut a little ways into the, start poking my knife in right there and cut a, a piece off like that. Okay, that one I cut a little thin. But put a knife in there cut along here like this and cut those strips off like that. And again, I'm not cutting any bones. If I was to cut this way, I'd be cutting these bones into little pieces that would cause all kinds of problems when you, when you go to uh, eating it. You can go pretty quick. The key here too is that if you do hit a bone when you're cutting, if you miss up and, and actually poke a bone, don't cut the bone. Don't go ahead, oh, cut through anyway. What you do is if you accidentally hit a bone with your knife, you're going to want to, I'm going to go ahead here and intentionally hit a bone by cutting a little bit off to the side. Okay, I hit a bone right there. Um, what I'll do is cut back this way and, and tear. And that way I'll be sure not to, uh, to, to get that bone uh, into little pieces. Okay, that's right. I'm going to take one more piece off of here like this. And then I've got this piece back here, which is get back by the tail. The bones are no longer Y-shaped, and they're also very close to where the skin was. So once you get back to the back end, flip it over, cut down to the bones, and pull them off like you're just like you're cutting another skin off. Take that and lay it here. You can see those bones laying right there. Turn it around, cut back the other way, remove those, bone, those bones here. All the bones are in that, that piece that I just pulled off, and you can lay this this way. I guess this one came here like that and like that. So these are, this is where the, the, uh, the fish, this is what it looks like once you've got it all cut up and it's kind of in the same order as it was prior to cutting it up. And you can see, you know, again, these pieces like this, there's, there'll be th maybe two or three, this one might have three bones in it that are about three and a half inches long each. And you cook it up, break it in half, this half will be boneless, pull the bones out, and eat the other half. Really quick and easy. Fry these up later. There we go. Beautiful.